It's your boy, Big Mouth, Mouth of the South, man. Let the people know we rocking with. Big Y said, I'm going to scale, man. Y'all right now. Southeast Bridge to this buff. Let me get right now. We stacking them bands, I'm going to run it up. Low coming in, they flooded the Tonga truck. Counting that money, my fingers got paper cut. Sipping that lane like ice with a double cup. 120, that money on top. I'm selling that strike, that shit like a punch. These niggas be sweet, fourth down, why punk? We fishing that shit, we might hop out the trunk. Hitting that drink, shit sound like a punk. It's a hop in the air and we smoking that blunt. Hey, hey, look, man, let the people know where you from. Y'all already know I'm from the heart of this shit, man. Southeast DC, Martin Luther King Avenue. This yeah. Is... Um, how was it growing up around Martin Luther King Avenue? Rough. Trenches, you already know. Like the ordinary neighborhood. Only difference is, I just feel like our shit just different. Cause our shit like an island. It's like we by ourselves on the island. That's how I be looking at. Yeah. Shit, when you say an island, like what you mean? There's no other hoods near you. There's no other, like no other traffic or what you mean? Like on an island? Like it's it's, it's other hoods near us, but they 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 look they lord. We, we it just feel like we by ourselves. We all, we just do everything, everything. We stand on business, everything just to cake. Do y'all like alienate yourself like from everybody else or like why y'all standing like alone though? Why you know what I'm saying? Why y'all by yourself? We got everything. One stop shop, man. You know what's going on, man. They know what's going on. We got everything. Fast music, whatever. We got it. We don't need nobody else. What was your family situation like growing up? More so like my bubble, like my bubble was there. Single mother, raised two youngest, shit like that. You got a brother or a sister? I got a brother and a sister. I got a sister on my father's side, but I got a brother too. Are y'all around the same age? Y'all grew up together? Nah, my brother older than me. He old, older than me. Who's some popular people from around MLK that um, DC might know or the world might know? Uh, y'all might know Baby 50. Y'all might know KP Skywalker. Y'all probably know d -Bat. Y'all probably know Big Trap. Y'all probably know Run Em Down. Y'all probably know KP Beasy. KP Grasky, y'all probably know the game. When it comes to MLK reputation though, like what are y'all known for? Static old betters. That's all we know for static old betters. How did you meet Baby 50? That's my little brother, like. I'm growing up, he growing up, I'm just bro, I'm just older, that's all for real. Same thing with Walt, same thing with anybody. They just, is the it, only thing different is the age difference, that's the only thing different. How old was you when you jumped off the porch then when you came outside? Probably when I was like, I probably was doing a little shit. Having little mischievous behaviors and shit like growing up, but it was nothing too serious. Probably till I got like in like middle school, I was doing little uh little earlier shit. Then probably I'm gonna probably say like around like eighth to ninth grade, I really hopped off the porch. That's when I caught my first child. What made you wanna hop off the porch though? It was like more so like not trying to be, not trying to have a name or or somebody else. Like I was trying to create my own shit, type shit. Like you know, like a lot of niggas got names all cause oh no, nah, that's such and such little brother, that's such and such nephew, or that's such and such son. Like nah, niggas know SL cause SL, SL stand on business. Niggas know SL cause SL. I did everything. Is that like something big though in the DC area 
this having your own name or like where does that originate from? Like what's the importance of having your own name? I mean, it's big now. But like I said, this was like when I was like in the eighth or ninth grade, I'm twenty seven now. Like it's it's big for niggas now, but it was big for me back then. Yeah. This shit ain't nothing now, like this shit ain't nothing. I've been doing this shit. Shit, I was watching your interview, I seen that you did four and a half years. Yeah. What you do? I mean, shit I already said and done now. I just got locked up for some shit like basically like police locked me up and shit. I had a rack of guns and shit in my car. So when you get locked up in DC, is that considered uh like fed time since DC is not like a state or yeah, everything fed. Everything fed. But I actually was like in district court. I wasn't in Superior, I went district. Like, I was like, I had like, shit was really going on. For the people that don't know though, like what's the difference between district court and federal court? Federal court. Like, It'll just be like somewhere else, cause we don't got no state. So somewhere else, Superior be like state, and when and and, and, and um, what I say, district could be like fed for for um uh places, but for here, state is is like like we don't got no state, so we ain't got that. But when you in district court, your shit like way more serious, like. Them alphabet boys be like investigating you niggas be them people be jiving on you. So was you stationed in DC or they shipped you away? I was stationed here where I was fighting my case to see like where I was gonna go to trial or take a plea, how how shit was gonna go. Until I did what I did, I took a plea. And then once I took a plea, then I got my sentence and then I went to the feds. I went out, I got shipped out. Did you know you was gonna take a plea the whole time or that was something you had to weigh out? That was something I weighed out. I actually was going, I had a co-defendant. So actually, man, him did a lot of communicating. And it was like, they came to me with a, they came to me one day and was like, um, we giving y'all, we give y'all a plea agreement. Your co-defendant get three years and you get a year. And I'm just looking at that shit. I'm like, fuck no. That shit don't even just sound right to me. Whether it's like a, whether it like ain't no jinky shit in this plea or nothing. Whether it's jinky shit or whether it's not jinky shit. I look at that plea as wild. Like, my co-defendant do three and I do a year. I just still look at that wow. Even if his background bad in my eyes or whatever, I still look at that wow. So, and this facts too. Like if he was here on his interview, he'd tell you that. But basically like, and shout out to him too. He a real one. Shout out to Kendall too, man. He a real one, my co-defendant, man. Like he was like one of them ones like, He'd go to the prosecutor and, and he'd go to the, his lawyer and tell him like, nah, I did all that, like let him go. He was on that. Like, nah, all that's me, let him go. But it was like, no, it was a, it was like one of them, without him, is no him type shit. Like if, it, if they let me go, it's no him. And if it's, they let him go, it's no me type shit. So it was like one of them type situations, but that's a real solid young nigga right there though, man. Like, I fuck with Shorty though. That's Shorty my heart though. Like, he stood tall, like, and so basically like, I came to him and was like, man, they can't, They had a cop talking about I get one, you get three. And he was basically like, how you feel about that shit? I'm like, fuck no. He was like, yeah, I was on the same shit, like fuck no. So we just played it back. And how shit was going, like, we both was like thinking of going to trial. Like we like, we gonna go to trial. We lay back, feet up, shit. We chillin', we just over the jail. We in the city, we in the city. All the men over here, good men over here. We over here cool. And we end up going to this one out. She get switched over to this one. 
So when we get switched over to district, shit was like different. Now it's like a rock of evidence we ain't never seen before. Rock of goofy shit in the works now. Now we like whole time, like whole shit get to get crazy. So I ain't mistaken. I ain't, don't quote me for this. I don't know if his lawyer or it was my lawyer, but I know we was both in a hole. And if I ain't mistaken, I think it was my lawyer. My lawyer came up and said they had a plea force for five. And I ended up going to him and asking him about it. And he was like, shit, if you want, if you want, I'll take it. We'll take it together. I'm like, shit, we'll take that shit together. And his lawyer ended up coming and showing him the shit. We ended up taking the shit. And we did our shit, came home now. Both of us out here looking sweet.